God bless America. In today's video, I will be doing a visual, social, and governmental analysis of President Trump's recent assassination attempt. I conferred with a good friend of mine, Mr. C.J. Johnson. C.J. worked with CID, many Ranger battalions, and did a lot of administrative work in the military. Currently, he works across our great nation in logistics and transportation. CJ and I see this upcoming election totally different, and we really can't agree on much. But I will tell you this, both of us learned in the military that we might not like the man that holds the top seat in this country. But the military taught us that it's our duty to respect that seat and give that man a chance. Neither of us want to see the privilege of voting turn unnecessarily violent. For our visual analysis, you can easily see where the blame lies. Everything else is just fuel for the fight. Take a look at this layout here and look at the building where the shooter was. Also, you see trees that present a blind spot and cover. You don't need any special training, just common sense. You can see that that building should have been used as a vantage point for us. There should have been surveillance all around that building and especially on the top of it. Just look at the layout. It's like it was almost given to the shooter. These are some questions that I have for the guy or whomever was in charge of that security detail. What were your vulnerable or weak areas at that rally. In the event of a compromise, what were your contingencies? And mainly, did you practice or rehearse the contingencies in the event that there was a compromise? CJ questioned the attention to detail. Based on the setup of this rally alone, whoever was in charge of this detail, they have to fall. When you look at our country today, financially, we are a first world country. But socially, we're leaning more towards a third world country. Just like rap music is vile, obscene, mind altering, misogynistic, sexual, combative, and leaves absolutely nothing for the imagination. My friend CJ then stated, that our politics have become the exact same way. You can't allow cancer in one area and not expect it to spread everywhere. Our politicians now lack decency, tact, diplomacy, and just simple decorum. Our culture now breeds weak minds that are fueled by distorted anger. So in every facet of our society today, you have to watch what you do, watch what you listen to, and watch what you say. As a political leader, we can't call the other guy crooked or you're the worst. And the other guy, you can't target your opponent. You can't make him sound like there's a bullseye on him. CJ passionately stated that words are powerful, especially when they meet a weak mind. In this country today, I can say with unwavering confidence that we now live in a state of terror. You can go to the McDonald's and never come home again. You can go to a family-oriented political rally and never come home again. We have taken so many of the good things out of our society that now the bad festers. Because this is America, I do believe that we can do better. We can watch what we do, watch what we say, and we can watch what we listen to. My condolences to the family that lost a life, to everyone else affected, I wish a speedy physical and mental recovery. 